Hi guys, today I'm going to show you MegaOS 10 10.8 Mountain Lion. And um, let's boot this thing up here. Um, I just have to make sure that it's booting into Mountain Lion because it is cluttered with operating systems. So, one thing is sure, it's not booting into Windows. <laughs> uh, you should see something on the monitor. Now, yep, so what we're gonna do is change the camera angle a little bit. Focus. And now I see the login screen. So it looks the same like a lion. Um, yeah, I have no password. That is a cool thing. Ah, alright. <laughs> I never have understood this. So there you have the desktop. Um, again, the design is the same like online. It's it hasn't changed in any way. It's uh, the same since Leopard actually. They they came to this uh, dog style. So whatever. Um, if you look at the top left. There is no Apple logo, and uh, I don't know if this is a bug or if, if it's, I don't know if this is supposed to do that. But if I click here, it's appearing. So let's get about the smack here. And you have here OS 10 version 10.8. So it, they just left out the Mac OS 10. So what it is is OS 10. And uh, just to say one thing right away, uh, Mountain Lion is very, very, very similar to iOS in a lot of ways. So the next operating system will be huh, iMac OS X. <laughs> so it's not good like this. I, I, I think an iPhone should be an iPhone and not a Mac should be a Mac. Because not everything is good on a Mac, which is good on the iPhone or whatever. So. One thing I hate about uh, Mountain Lion is the updating. Because if you click here, the good old software update, it starts the app store and it begins to look at the updates, like in the iOS app store. So, this spinning wheel here is so stupid because you will never ever find out how much it's loaded yet. So, I don't know why they did not let it remain or let it the, the old, good old. Um, progress bar, which is there since Puma. At least in Jaguar, it, it is there. So, it's just annoying why why they left this because it's 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 just stupid. As you can see, you will never ever find out how much is loaded. And if you have more, it's gonna take very long, and you think it's never gonna find anything. It's just stupid. Again, in the App Store, the dock. And actually, the dog looks one to one to the older Mega 10 versions in other positions too, so it doesn't matter. And uh, it's the same principle. So, one thing that has changed is this, and that is the notification center. So, everything, uh, if you have like iMessage, like the Messages app, which is this here, and it's gonna pop up here. and. Um, that's quite handy, uh, and you can delete it like on the iPhone, whatever. But you will, if you want to have that always running, it's you're gonna need a bigger monitor. But I live on the big IMAX, it's no problem. But you can resize it in any way, so yeah, it's about that. Um, one thing I, if I ever upgrade to this, will hate is because I'm just so used to click somewhere in the right corner to find a spotlight. Because I use spotlight nearly every three minutes, and I'm just gonna always hit that, I believe. So, yeah, I should have positioned it somewhere here, but that's just mine. Um, everything else is again same. Um, so what they did is they still have this useless launch pad which is so useless really who uses that 
I don't know anyone who uses that, actually. It's it's useless. It's not bad. It's, it's kind of cool that they made this, but I don't know anyone who uses that, so it's just stupid. Dashboard, again, the good old lion dashboard with no wallpaper. Never liked it, but I'm not keen on dashboard. And you have Safari here. Safari without a Google uh, or whatever. Oh, I have a comment. Alright. <laughs> And again, just open it up the same thing, the same, the last page you, you open. So, yeah, that's about this here. And uh, it has no Google um, thing. And you can make it full screen, but I, I never use that. I, actually, it's for me, this is a waste of time because really, you can't make it in this. This is nearly the whole monitor, so. And this small screen is really not necessary. Uh, mail is still the same. Contact is still the same. I believe it is. Yeah, still the same. Um, calendar is still the same. But that's these three good things are in here. Reminders. Um, that's the same like on the iPhone. Again, what a surprise. Um, you can just make your own list here. Whatever you want. I already made a couple of... It has some lag, I don't know why. You can make again. Like on the iPhone. Some things here. Whatever you want. If you have completed these, this is just gonna go to the completed section. So here they are fine and uh, yeah you can still do infos and done and you know. Um that's about this here. Uh by the way I just if I if I have to do anything important, all I do is just take one of these things and write on it and just glue it like this on the front of my monitor, so that way I will never forget it. <laughs> because I, I I always forget things. I try to do that, and uh, it's just stupid. Um, notes. Uh, again, I will not use it for. Some people, this may be interesting. Yeah, you can make your own notes. Whatever you want, you just can write in something. Let's write in something. And make it full screen again. And, uh, yeah, you have it. It's, I don't, I can't understand the, the logic behind this full screen stuff. Because it's so useless, you can make it that a little bigger you want without clicking around so I can't see the logic behind this still messages I really like this app um, you can send someone an iMessage uh, this has another style here like on uh, the Lion version uh, I use the Lion version nearly every every day actually I use it every day it's so handy to write someone a message whatever so it, it's, it's very very